All right, it's time for 2020. We got to get ready. So here is my planner stack for 2020. I have expanded a lot, obviously, from last year where I was trying to fit everything in one and it just was too much. It wasn't quite working. So this is my new plan for 2020. Today, I'm going to walk you through what my planning style is going to look like, what planners I'm going to be using. I won't go like in super, super depth on each different planner, but I will show you the basics so that you can get an idea of what I'm using and what you might be interested in too. I'm going to kind of tell you what types of videos you can expect from my channel in each of these. And yeah, it's just going to be a fun video. So if you're new, subscribe by clicking that button down below. That way you won't miss any of this content and give this video a like if you're excited for new planning content in 2020. Plus it really helps out my channel. So without further ado, let's get into the books. All right, so guys, four planners. Wow, yeah. So they each have a different purpose, so they're not really gonna be a ton of like overlapping types of planning here. They're all for each a different thing. And so depending on what you most like seeing, you will maybe be interested in some of these, all of these, you know, you'll just have to see. But I'm gonna walk you through what types of planners I picked up for the new year and what I'm gonna use each one of them for. And maybe it'll give you a few new ideas as well. You obviously may not want four planners like me. I admit this is really obsessive but maybe you can take ideas from each of them and incorporate it into the style that you plan on using for the new year. So I'm gonna move the big stack off to the side and go one by one. That way you can get an idea of what we've got going on here. If you're interested in getting any of these planners for the new year or anything else from Plum Paper or Erin Condren, definitely check in my description box down below. I always have linked any Amazon items for you. That way you can get to them easily if you're interested in them. But I have a code for Erin Condren that gets you $10 off your first order. So if it's your first time, that gets you $10 off your planner automatically. So definitely check down below for that coupon code and link. And then if you're interested in Plum Paper Planner, I have a coupon down below that gets you 10% off your order. So it's $10 off of Erin Condren or a 10% off of Plum Paper. If you're ordering for the first time, there's no reason not to use those codes and get yourself a discount because planners can get pricey. So I just wanted to leave that for you. I always have them in my description box. That way you can find them on any of my videos. But I just wanted to throw that in there for you guys in case you hadn't ordered a planner yet and you're interested in one. That way it could help you out. They are also kind of like an affiliate type link where I get a little bit back as well for future purchases and things to make future videos on for you guys. So basically anytime someone uses that link, it gives me a little bit where I can order something and show it for you guys on my channel. So. There's that, let's go ahead and get to the rest. Now, just to give you a reference point, this is my planner from uh, 2019. It was a plum paper planner and I tried to fit everything in this one. You can see it's bulging here and it worked really well for me. I love my plum planner, but it just wasn't quite optimized the way I wanted. And so that's why I'm going to the new system. It's over though, it's so sad to see the end of this planner because I really have loved it. The very last spread of 2019, very, very pretty. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into what's now going to be the new style. So the first thing I'm gonna have is, it's just a dot grid journal, um, kind of like a bullet journal. And I've shown, I think, one or two videos on this channel already as I've started setting it up for the new year. But this is just going to be my wellness journal. Um, this isn't going to be anything where I do like all my daily planning um, meetings or things like that. This is simply just going to be me journaling for my health. And I'll be including a bunch of stuff in here as I go along for you guys to see. 
but if you're interested in just like a reasonably priced um, grid journal I really like this one it's the ghost grid I'll have it linked down below for you guys I like this one because it's not the smaller size bullet journals like this is a full notebook size and I wanted lots of room so if you're looking for a bigger dot grid journal like this like I said I got it on Amazon it was a really good price and I just really like the bright white paper with the dots and I'll have this one linked below but you can expect some bullet journaling stuff out of this from me this year as well as like wellness health all that kinds of things so that's what's going to be going in this one i'm not going to spend a ton of time explaining this one just because it is really that basic and there's nothing for me to show because it's just an empty kind of bullet journal at the moment but from time to time you will see stuff on this on my channel so i'm going to move on to the other planners next this is my new plum paper planner that i picked up i am still going to use my plum paper planner you guys know i absolutely love it and this is the new one it's nice and thin again with a new start i picked this pretty cover i just thought it was really nice and simple i got my name done on the bottom the back matches and i just think it's really pretty the only change i got in my planner this year um, from the previous one i had is that on the layout i just picked the plain vertical in the past i had the little um, personalized column here where i could break down different sections and i just found i more often than not didn't use those and so i'd rather just have a blank slate and then i can always build in my own sections if i would like to anyway and so i just went with the plain vertical and i kind of like that it gives you a little extra section already marked off down here because i could use that for dinners or i could just use that simply as like a little washi area or whatever i would really like i could track work hours stuff like that so i just got the very plain version i got a january to december last time i got some extra sections added to the back for like the social media tracker and stuff like that but i found that i just didn't use them because they were so like separate and in the back i always forgot it was there and it wasn't like present in my like weekly mindset and so i didn't want to use the money on adding those sections because i tried that before and it just didn't work for me so this is going to be a planner just for my day-to-day -day life you guys know i love planning all my to do's my tasks my appointments things like that and so that's what this one is going to be my personal life and my kind of like hours and all the things that i plan on doing throughout the day and throughout the week so plum paper planner is my personal planner and i love it for that because it is lined that's the only problem i have with the erin condren because i'm such a to-do lister i really need those lines and so that's what this is for this is my giant daily running to-do list kind of planner you will still see a lot of plan with me's on this you guys know i love doing those and using my mild liners so that's what my plum paper planner is for this year so then you might wonder what are these two Erin Condren's for and why are there two of them? So I decided to kind of do something different this year and I'll kind of go one and then the other. First, I'm going to walk through this one. I got this cover idea from Julie Plans. Um, so I totally didn't come up with it on my own. I saw her do it and then I saw Happily a Housewife also borrow and do it and then you know what? I'm doing it too. So we'll call it flattery because it was just a really good idea. So film, edit, upload. This is going to be my work planner. And you can see this one's kind of thin. So this one is not your typical um, weekly life planner. This is the deluxe monthly planner. And so if you're not familiar, the deluxe monthly planner, and I got it in neutral, has obviously all the calendar months there and then a little tiny planning page that you could use pretty much however you want but there's enough for 12 months and then the layout goes a dot grid page 
a kind of planning page for monthly goals. The monthly calendar, which is what I really wanted it for. And then a few notes pages behind. So one, two, three, four, and then five. Okay, so there's five notes pages per month. And then it starts over. So that's all this is. There's no weekly spreads. There's no daily anything. It's just a deluxe monthly planner. And so you're thinking, well, you kind of get that in the normal one. So then what would you really need just another monthly planner for? And then uh, there's like a ton of note pages in the back. And I mean a ton. So here's my plan for this one. And I kind of got the idea from a few people. Um, like I said, Julie Plans kind of does this, and then Happily a Housewife does this, and then I'm going to kind of take it and make it my own version. This is going to be just a work planner for me. Now, they're using it a lot in a way of just their YouTube planner, but I find that I probably wouldn't need a whole planner just for that um, because I keep my stuff as simple as I can. So my plan is... All of my like YouTube stuff, any social media stuff is going to go in here. That way, you know, the little monthly planner here, I can plan out all my videos and stuff. But really, I plan on ramping up a lot of my other income streams as well um, in 2020. Because I'm really going to try and bust it. I have a lot of personal goals that I want to meet. And so basically, this is going to be my everything task center. My plan, my intention is on this page, um, since it's the dot grid, to kind of draw out a spreadsheet for myself of videos I need to get done because I have two channels. I have this channel and then I have my main channel, Bits and Bytes. And so this will be a good way for me to try and keep track of all of the things that go into that in one page, one spot. This I'll use as like a monthly goals for all the different things because there's going to be all my YouTube stuff, my other social media. I have a Teachers Pay Teachers account that I want to like try and do more on to generate some income. And then plus I have a few other things. Um, I'm going to also be starting Redden and Fields. I'm not pushing it on anyone. I'm doing it mostly just because I need some severe skincare help because I live up in cold Wisconsin now and it's killing my skin. But, you know, what comes along with it is if someone does want to buy it, then awesome. You know, there's that as income too. So I'm not pushing it on anybody, but I am going to be joining that for my personal benefit. But I still need a place to like track all of that stuff too. And then as I go along, there's other stuff. I'm working on a book and I'll just, there's a lot of stuff going on in 2020. So I needed one place for all of it. And that's what this one is. So YouTube stuff here, monthly goals here. This is going to be a calendar where I can put all of my videos for the month or any other important things for all of those things I just mentioned. Um, some deadlines and things I want to set for myself, all of that. So you'll see probably a monthly plan with me happen each month on the spread. And then also a lot of you have been asking and I've really been wanting to do more budgeting. So I am going to have some budget plan with me as well. And I plan on using a few of these pages for my monthly budget layouts. So you'll see that too. So if you love the plan with the like budgeting plan with me, those are going to be on my channel now too. Um, and I'm going to be trying out a few different layouts as I find what really works best for me. But I kind of plan on using a couple of these pages for that and that'll just help me stay better you know focused and everything and then I have a couple of extra pages and I'll just kind of feel it out as I go along but basically this one is going to be the work planner everything related to work money all that kind of stuff so then you're wondering well then why does she still need another regular Erin Condren life planner She's got the personal planner for the plum planner. She's got a work planner in the deluxe monthly. Why would you need another life planner? Hmm. Well, <laughs> to answer that, it's actually pretty simple. 
I love my plum planner. It is the most practical thing I could ask for for my personal planner. However, as a lot of you have seen, especially getting into the holidays, I love my basic planning, but I also still really miss like the pretty planning a lot of times. And so I find that the more pretty I try and make things, the less functional they become, as a lot of you would expect, and it just kind of makes sense. So, so that I don't lose the function, but I can still enjoy like the pretty, pretty stuff. Here's my solution. Functional in my plum paper planner. It's still going to look really nice. You're still going to really enjoy those plan with me's. But this one is going to be more for memory keeping. So I got just the regular vertical layout planner. And what this one is going to be is the monthly spread is going to be like a best memory or most important thing from the day. So once a month, you'll see me fill this one out as a video and it'll always be like after the month is over because I'll need to have known what happened each of these days. So it'll be more of a giant monthly memory scrapbook. So that one will be really, really fun. And then the weekly layouts are going to be more about memory keeping as well. So on weeks where I feel like it, it won't be every single week, but on weeks where I feel like it or weeks where I know I have time, I'll go through and I'll do more of a memory keeping spread where I'll go through, I'll pick a kit and I'll fill this all out on everything that happened for the week. So it'll be like a back planning thing, not a future planning video. So that way you get to enjoy all the different types of planning on my channel. You'll get all the full beautiful planning videos using an Erin Condren with kits and fun things like that because this one will be memory keeping. You'll get all of the fun budgeting, youtube -y stuff, work planning. So if you want kind of a functional way to plan out work types of things, we have this one now plus the budgeting is coming to my channel because I really want to get better at that. And then you'll get the day-to-day, -day, the real personal types of planning in my plum paper planner. So that'll be really fun. And then, like I said, also the bullet journaling as well. So lots of fun stuff in 2020. I wanted to share this with you guys because some people have wondered what I was picking up for the new year. And I wanted to share my planner stack with you. So those are my plans for 2020. I hope you come along with me. Like I said, subscribe down below if you are new today and all of that sounds like a bunch of fun to you because I've really got a lot of fun content coming up, plus a lot of hauls. Can't forget the hauls because I love sharing things that I find with you guys and enjoy. So like this video, like I said, it helps me out and I will see you in the next one, guys. Get ready for 2020. Bye. Thank you.